They are not serving in St. Joseph's. There was a quick raid by the enforcement directed in me in my house. And they didn't allow my mom to move. They said, don't move. They came with two, three jeeps. They entered the house. They asked mom to give the keys of the copper. They checked the whole house, seized all the bank documents, rushed up to the bank and uh, closed all the bank, blocked all the bank accounts. That was the end <laughs> of our life, I thought. And the case went on for some time because uh, the enforcement director found a lot of black money with my mom because uh, almost every day she was depositing money in the bank. They asked from where she got all the money. And I think uh, dad was trying to avoid paying taxes to the government. So he had an indirect method of trying to send money to mom so that she could build a house. We already had a house by Italian. We already, we, we, after we constructed the new house, it's right here. It's Taking an indirect method is always painful. A direct method may be slow and steady wins the race. The case went on for such a long time. My mom was forced to sell all the properties. And then we were forced, we, we were always trying to tell her mom, who, who are the village people? Who are the village people? You talk like a village lady. And when this raid happened, and the grandfather suddenly died, and mom was forced to go back to the village because there was no money even for us to eat food also. It was terrible pain. This city-based house, which we constructed brand new, she gave it for rent. So we get some money. And by the time dad has gone underground, he was not seen for eight years. Then we went to the village. That's the time I realized the rules. We were against the rules. And there we learned a lot. And then they came and we started talking your rich people. Yeah, you try to escape from your rules, the rules will track you back. Johan Wolfgang von Butte, born on 28 August 1749 in Frankfurt in Germany, died on 22 March 1832 in Weimar in Germany, was a German poet. Player at known as scientist, statesman, theatre director, and critic. His works include plays, poetry, literature, and aesthetic criticism, as well as theatrics on both botany, anatomy, and color. He is widely regarded as the greatest and most influential writer of the German language. His work having a profound and wide ranging influence in Western literary, political, and philosophical thought from the late 18th century to the present day. John Wolfgang von Goethe said, There are only two lasting requests. We can hope to give our children. One of these is roots, the other wings. That's why I told of my house to the roots. Yes. Roots and wings, positive and negative, only can create electricity. To always have a deeper light in the heart of every child. When you send the child, children to your high tech schools, to the international schools, where they destroy the child's basic culture of their family, destroys the child's love relationship with the father and mother. Yes. They, can, they will never believe such rules exist. Hence, I told them when the he raided my house <laughs> and found black money. We were forced to go back to the village, which we were always against, and we got melted. <laughs> yes, I think that has given me this base for coming to Devanali Ashram and doing the field work. There are only two lasting big quests we can hope to give our children. When they fight, we we'll give a long rope, but keep pulling them back. That is the duty of every father and mother. Yes. And you must go back to the roots. What will be the reason? What will be the war? 
Anyway, there was a war in the city. You are unable to breathe, you are unable to get fresh. You are unable to have fresh water, you have to get chlorinated, dirty water. You are unable to go around and play because neighbors do not allow. You cannot scream and jump into the neighbors do not allow. You do not know where to throw your waste because in the village you can always recycle the waste for your for your beds and for your trees and other things. You are pain, living in pain. Yes. So a war, you are fighting a war, but the war never leads you anywhere, anywhere. So it's better to fight with the children, take them to the roads, go back, build up your family. Learn how to love the family. That's all. You don't have to go to any ashrams. I was always against ashrams. Midbit ashrams is where they pull in people and they teach them how to meditate. They teach them how to get disconnected from the family. They tell him God is the only family you connect to God. And you become Brahmacharis. And that made a lot of people to run to the ashrams and breaking down many families. Ashram Swamitis and Guruji should work hard to make sure that nobody enters the ashram. Nobody enters the ashram. They should enter only when they have a one lakh flower growing day, like the Japanese monastery. There, then millions of people can walk in and they can give as much donations as possible. So that the monks working inside have got enough space to grow beautiful things, beautiful philosophies, print beautiful books for the society and give beautiful advices. But if everybody crowds in the ashram, where does the ashram head get time for philosophy or for spirituality? He's gone mad trying to pull in so many people. He's thinking creating a big crowd around him makes him a big Swamiji, makes him a big Guruji, Gurudev, uh, Sadhguru, Mama, uh, Baba. I think that is wrong. I think we cannot blame the Industrial Revolution for this uh, breakdown of the family, joint family and the family tree. I think our ashrams has contributed to quite an amount of dragging people into the ashrams and making them jump and dance and do meditation. First ask them, like Confucius said, till the age of 60 you have no right to enter my temple or ashram and nobody should even use the word God also. You must only go. Build up your family, your joint family and family. Strengthen that. Once you strengthen that, you are free with your fear and full of love because you have experienced a massive amount of love, orgasmic love, which your family members, joint family and family tree, you have faced and seen everything because the joint family and family tree has got a huge amount of land and connections. Then you come now to the ashram, you maintain that beautiful way. You can contribute back to that, to the ashrams, to the monasteries. There are only two lasting weeks we can hope to give our children. One of these rules, give them the rules, and the rules are the family tree. To get to the family tree, you have to love your family to get connected to the joint family. And otherwise, the wings, once there is a root, children are to flies, and they know. Wherever they fly, they know to come back to the same trees, come back to the same root. Yes, that was beautiful because you can go happily by seeing the in and the young positive and it creates electricity. So, if you are a very good father and mother, or a very good elder brother or sister or grandfather, grandmother, it's not too late. I'm not telling you should leave ashrams and go back to your houses. Visit if you are, have a touch with your. Guruji, never mind, with your Gurudev or with your Babaji or with your Amma or whatever the Sadhguru, whatever it is. But please go back, please leave the ashrams as fast as possible. Go back to your houses and hug your wife and your husband and your children. Just sit next to them. When you enter the house, tell everybody, remove your slippers and your mind and your Close. There should be a room even to remove the total clothes and put a new dress and enter. In that, no electronic gadgets, no mobiles also. You come sit next to them and talk. This. You can find a huge amount of love relationship blooming. First time you found out there is money and power among them, among you all, which you can see new, new, new. 
branches sprouting out from the huge big trunk of your family and you can stretch your hand with guts yes a war to connect back to your joint family even though they split nothing happens because any anyway, government departments and other departments splitting on you electricity board water department tax department income tax department you are living in fear with so many guns pointed at you go back to your joint family and you can see the family tree. In that family tree, the children know whose roots are there, and I can fly. Yes. That stabilizes the country, stabilizes the family. In that stabilization, you find meditating, spirituality, that spirit, you get spirituality. And philosophy flows. For every question, there are 100,000 interpretations of answers. You don't have to go to ashrams to ask for any question. You are the answer. You are the truth because you are experienced truth in that silence. And God appears in front of you in the mirror. Wipe the dust from the mirror. Our family tree is heading for disaster. We need to learn how to work with the family rather against it. Let us build back the family. Let us build back the joint family and the family tree. Together, we will be able to wipe out more tears and bring down hands.